Hi everyone. In this screencast, I'm going to talk about using master slides in your Storyline projects. And they're handy things to use because one, they'll give you some consistency across your entire module or your course. And secondly, they'll potentially save you some time when you're developing because you won't have to set up every slide individually. Now, if you've used master slides in PowerPoint, they pretty much work the same here in Storyline. So to get to your master slide area, you need to come up to the view tab and then across to the left, there's an option called Slide Master. And when you click on Slide Master, you go into the, the master area. And by default, we have uh, some master slide layouts set up. Now we have this slide at the top, which is our, our master slide. And then underneath that, we have some layout slides. And if you hover over the layout slides, you can see the, the names of them and where they're uh, used. Uh, potentially in your course. So for example, these two slides here are used for uh, question slides for you, graded quizzing questions. And then we have a blank slide at the bottom. Now the way that the master slides work is that this top master slide, anything that's put on or, or added to this slide will be applied to the layout slides underneath. So for example, if I go to the still in master view, but this insert tab, and I might insert a picture a little logo picture here and I'll pop that onto my slide here and I've placed it in the top corner on this very top master slide and it's actually put the picture on all of my layout slides underneath. So every time I insert a slide into my project I'm going to have that little icon appear in, in the same position on every single slide. Now, the, the layout slides are a little bit different in that anything that's applied to a layout slide is only applied when that layout is used in your course. So, taking this blank one, for example, if I go and insert another picture, maybe something like this, pop that onto the slide, maybe as some sort of a background image or something like that, see how that image has only been applied to that particular layout so you can set up individual layouts for, for what you need in your course. Now, these are, I guess, the default layouts that, are, that you have when you, when you first open up a new project. But you can insert additional layouts. So if I click on the Insert Layout option, uh, I get another uh, layout appear uh, in my course. And I can insert uh, some placeholders. So placeholders are things that are uh, areas that are reserved for a particular type of content. So you can have content or text or pictures, video. Um, so I might just insert a, a picture placeholder. So that might say go there and then maybe insert a text placeholder um, maybe over here next to it. Something like that. Uh, I can also then rename this new layout that I've uh, inserted. So I can give it a name. I might call it uh, Pick and Text. So now I have an additional layout in my in my course. And these, these placeholders uh, are spaces that will be reserved for that particular type of content. Now you can also insert another set of master slides. So sometimes you might use your master slides if you wanted to say have a course maybe with a few topics and maybe each topic you wanted to theme a little bit differently. You could set up sets of master slides for every topic. So I have this, uh, this set of master slides and then I might insert another set of master slides. So what that does is it'll insert a new set of master slides um, so we just go back to a, a new set of blank slides and then I would need to set up this set of master slides for uh, the layout for, again, like I said, my particular topic or, or something like that. So if I again go in and I insert a, a picture and this time I might put a little flag picture and I'll just pop it down here. Oh, actually, I'll pop it up here just for the purpose of the demo. So now I have two sets, one that's got a little logo in the top left hand corner and one with a little logo in the top right hand corner. Now a couple of other things you can do with it in your master slides is you can set up color and font themes. You can 
um, set up how the, 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 the type of font that you want to have for your particular slide. So if I change them to Arial, that'll make all of them um, Arial, Arial Black. Um, so you can you can play around and set them up and customize them um, however you, you want them to be. And the, the beauty is, is that you might spend a bit of time getting all of these slides ready, but once they're done once, then we only just have to keep just inserting the, the particular layouts and, and, and designs that we have for our, for our course. Now your master slides have uh, options, you can add triggers and layers to your master slides. So again, those layers and potential triggers can will be applied every time you use that particular layout. And to exit out of my slide master now, when, once I have it all set up, I come back to the slide master tab and close the master view. Now I'd, this a slide was a, a blank uh, slide, so that's why it's picked up on my logo and my image. And you'll notice that I can't actually move them because they're now on the master and they're built into the slide itself. And now when I go to insert a new slide into my project, you'll see that I have my uh, original set where I put the, the little icon in the top left corner and then I also have my other set that I added that's got the icon in the top right hand corner. So if you have multiple sets of master slides created you'll you'll see them all here and then you will just go in and choose which um, particular layout you want for the particular slide that you're working on and you can insert it in and again the object that was in the master slide is is fixed and it'll be consistently in that place all through your course. Well, that's it for me on master slides. Hopefully that was helpful. Give them a go in your next project. Certainly great for, like I said, maintaining consistency and, and saving you some time in, in the setup of your slides.